Hello there, I'm Black Bright and welcome to my channel. If it's the first time you're visiting, please subscribe, like, share, all those kind of things. Today I wanted to talk about John Cleese's comment about London not being an English city anymore. And Sadiq Khan is up in arms because he's trying to say, oh, well, you've got to embrace the multicultural diversity and all that stuff. I mean, John Cleese wasn't saying that. He wasn't kind of saying, oh, he wasn't disacknowledging multicultural element. He was just saying it's not English anymore. And a lot of his friends have noticed it the same. But what do they mean by English? I mean, if I go down to London, sometimes I get frustrated because if I get lost and I ask somebody um, the way to here, there, wherever I want to go, nobody that I've spoken to in the past has spoken English. And, you know, that doesn't mean that nobody speaks English. It just means that the people I have spoken to don't speak English. And I could be going from one person to another and none of them are speaking English. But there again, you have to remember that London is a tourist city and a lot of people visit from out of towns. Having said that, you know, it is multicultural. But does that take away its Englishness? Um, I believe it was Professor Burback who said 62% of Londoners are born in Britain. And that translates to 5 million out of 8 million who are born in Britain. But the fact of the matter is, is that whether they're born in Britain or not, um, the inference, I believe, by saying England, London is no longer an English city is that it's very difficult to find, you know, pure-blooded white English people there. I mean, even when you think about the Queen, their ancestry is German. Boris Johnson, who's trying to be prime minister, his ancestry is Turkish. We've also had two black queens of England. And so you can't even say England is white or should be white. Because when you think about the two queens, what were their name? One was called Philippa, the royal consort of England. Um, I forget when she ruled, but after her, it was Charlotte of Mecklenburg, Strelitz, wife of King George III. She was the back queen of England from May 1744 to November 1818. We also had Charles Stuart II. He was the black king of England from 1630 to 1685. A lot of the prime ministers have their roots in Scotland, Ireland, Wales. So London is not an English city. But there again, was it ever English? In the sense that John Cleese and his compadres are thinking of. So um, I'm not even quite sure what to say about that comment. I mean, I mean unless Sadiq Khan is thinking to himself that um like me is he talking about white english um is that what he means or is he talking about like what i said earlier the fact that a lot of people do not speak english but if you're going by the fact that people who are born in england and who are therefore technically english Despite the British Nationality Act saying they are not, I don't see how a British Nationality Act can determine a citizenship. I really don't see how that happens. But of course, laws are put into place for their own reasons. But yeah, but on a technical level, um, people born in England should be English, but they're not, unless they're registered to be English. So, but all of that is just semantics. So, yeah, um, John Cleese, I agree with you to an extent. I don't know if it's meant to be a negative or positive, but England for the English. But who are the English? That's all I want to know. Bye-bye.